Hey, are you a stay-at-home mom or possibly even a stay-at-home dad that's really looking for a way you know, to build a business while you got your kids, okay? So if that's you, this is the definitely the video that you want to watch today. So my name is Lysandra Everett, and if you're a home business owner or a military spouse looking to build a profitable business online, I got you. And today I want to share with you seven tips on how you can build your business with your kids. Now, how did I get here to this video? I watched a video of a fantastic marketer, and he was asked about, you know, one of the chat, where this is the challenge that he faced when working from home. And he says, Oh my gosh, it's my kids. And so since they're home for the summer, I'm going to go work at an office and, you know, do, work on my business there and then come back home. And I thought, well, wow, isn't that cute that you can just leave your kids with your spouse while you go off into a business but what about if you are the primary caregiver we don't get to just drop, uh, to drop our kids off and just go leave and go to the office right so this is why I want to share with you seven practical tips that you can use to build your business with the kids okay and these are things that I have done myself I have two children that are now uh, four sorry 15 and 10 but these are tips that I have used from the time that they were toddlers up until now okay so number one is to plan your day you really need to sit down and get a a pictorial a written representation of what your day looks like plan you know what time you're gonna get up what time they're gonna get up what times breakfast what times lunch when is nap time you know when when are you gonna do certain activities with your kids write all that down and then when you look at that you can figure out where you can have little pockets of time to work on your business you might have 15 minutes you might have 30 minutes and once you figure out what time you have, then you can be intentional about building your business that way. Speaking of planning your day, number two, we're going to talk about uh, batching activities. And what that means is, is that you pick a certain activity and you work on that specific thing until you get it done. So for instance, it might be shooting videos. Okay. So, you know, if you really want to be uh, you know, be successful on YouTube, for instance, you really need to, to shoot at least one video a day. But that doesn't mean that you have to shoot one video every day. You might shoot several videos and just upload them daily. My other thing that I batch is freaking laundry, okay? My laundry gets done on Fridays and in, in, it's done by Saturday morning. If it's not in the laundry room, then it doesn't get washed until the next week, okay? So, so you really want to focus on batching like activities to get those things done so that you can be more efficient and focused with your time. Okay, that's number two. Number three is get up early or stay up late. Now, I am the early riser. I generally get up between 3.30 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Other people don't mind staying up late. I am not smart at 10 or 11 o'clock at night, okay? But you figure out what works for you. So uh, for me, what worked is getting up before my family, I could work on some things, and then once they get up, I can be focused with them, and then, you know, go on about the day. So, um, so you have to really, you know, figure out number one, what is your peak time? And number two, you know, what, what you can do in those, those hours, right? And those times that you wake up before them. So for me, you know, I have my personal time. I work out. Um, you know, sometimes I read, I, you know, meditate just during the, those quiet hours. So you got to figure out what works for you, but get up early or stay up late. That's a way that you can get some solid time in to build your business without the interruption and distraction of your babies. Okay. Number four is nap time is your friend if you have little ones this is a killer tip for you okay when your kids lay down for a nap I know you would like to lay down for a nap too okay because they have been driving you up the wall but I'm gonna need for you to tough this out because when they're um, at you know during their nap time you can get some things done if you've got phone calls to make if you've got a blog to write if you've got a video to shoot whatever that income producing activity is then you can get that done during nap time 
That leads to my next point, which is income producing activities. You need to focus on those first, okay? Because if you are intentional about your business, focusing on the income producing activities, also known as IPAs, you're really intentional about doing the things that are going to make you money. So if shooting a video that has a, a, a link in it that leads to some, you know, to an affiliate product or something, that is an income producing activity. Focus on getting those things done first. First, with the time that you have, leave that other stuff for later. You can get to the point where you can outsource some things like, you know, graphics, okay? Graphics are nice, but that is not the income producing activity. Providing the content that leads to a link, that is an income producing activity. So you, you have to know what that is for your business and then focus on those in the time that you have. The next one is build a village, okay? You've got to, the, the one thing that, that we women do, and I don't know if you guys do this, so sorry if this really sounds a little sexist, okay? But the one thing that we women do is we know how to build a village, okay? And this is what you have to do if you want to be successful, and especially if you can build that uh, that village with other business owners because you guys can swap child care be like okay great I'll take the kids on this day you take the kids on this day and both of you help each other out and um, you know with with your children so that you can both build businesses together but if you build a village then you're gonna have more help okay you might need, you really just might need a darn nap, okay? So you can, you know, call Susie down the street. Hey, can you watch my kid for an hour while I go to sleep? Hey, you know, I'll take your kids today. You take the kids tomorrow. You've got to really build that village because you really can't do it alone. You do need help. And needing help is not a sign of weakness. Acknowledging that you need help and getting it, that is a source of strength. And also understand too, that your village can be in your home as well. Meaning that, you know what? Your spouse, you, tell your spouse what you need. A lot of times we just assume our spouse need, knows that we need them to take care of dinner or we need them to, you know, to the corral the kids and all of that. No, be specific about what you need and ask your spouse to pitch in with certain things so that you can, you know, you can take a breather because you don't, you don't have to do everything in your business. Like what is it? What are the things not, not in your business, but in your home, right? Because we got houses to clean. We got laundry to do. You know, we just the law, the list goes on, right? But if we build that village within our home to say, hey, can you take care of this? Can you be responsible for this? This is going to help take a load off of you and you're not so stressed out and you actually do get to get some sleep. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to tell you, number seven, is to include your kids in your business. What? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times we try to hide the fact that we have kids. Let's stop all that, okay? You can build a business with your kids. You might be including them, whether if you're doing a live broadcast and they photo bomb or video bomb your live broadcast, bring them in. Don't try to shoo them away. Let them come into your, into your video because you know what? That helps other moms see that building a business with kids is actually possible. You know, when your kids are at school, if you've got school age kids, you know what? That's great because that allows you time to focus on your kids. But if you've got little ones at home, it's okay to sit your kid on your lap while you're shooting a video or while you're talking to someone because if that person is a mom, they totally get it. Okay. If that person, well, I should say a parent, period. If they're a parent, they totally get that. You know what? Um, parenting isn't always convenient when your kid wants their mom or wants their dad guess what they want their mom they want their dad now not when it's convenient for you so include them in your business you can actually put them to work in your business they can help you with stuff if they're old enough to push a vacuum hey let them push a vacuum okay if they're old enough to help you file stuff or you know take notes in uh, let them attend your classes. Like what? Because they're either going to get bored or they're going to learn something. Okay. But let them, but if, if you include them in your business, this will be a lot less stressful for you. Now in the summer, it's always interesting. Okay. 
Like for real. It's, um, and especially, you know, when you have school age kids that are out for the summer, you know, it can make building a business really interesting. And so that's why I say include them. Also, if your kids are old enough, you know, let them know like, Hey, for, and this is what works in my house. All right. So in the summer from, up until noon is my time, okay? This is the time where I'm working on my business. They can be cleaning their rooms, having breakfast, whatever it is. But from noon until the rest of the day, then that's their time. That's when we go to the pool, go to the park, go do whatever type of activity, okay? Unless, you know, some kind of schedule dictates otherwise. But, you know, the, the thing I want you to take away is this, is that you can be a mom and build a business you just have to get a little creative and you also have to be authentic all right be authentic and let people know you know yeah i got kids you like you hear joey banging on the pots in the background okay so he's doing that while i am you know shooting this video or whatever it is that you're doing okay but do not do not try to hide the fact that you have children and you know and treat them like an inconvenience because they're not they are your kids they're your family and family always comes first okay so listen thank you guys so much and listen if you want to know my number one recommendation for building a business online that link is in the description check that out and i'll see you on the other side have a great day oh yeah and if you like videos like this make sure you like it and if you want more make sure you subscribe and tap that notification bell so you don't miss anything all right have a great day i'll see y'all next time bye